problem to safely land. Number 13, Jehovah Mekadishkem, meaning the Lord who sanctifies you. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 8, which means, which says, And you shall keep my statute and do them. I am the Lord which sanctifies you. If only you believe in the word of God and humble yourself to confess your wrongdoings, God will sanctify you, even as the Apostle John added in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, which says, And if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Number 14, Jovanisi, which means the Lord of Banner. Exodus chapter 17, verse 15 to 16, which says, And Moses built an altar and called the name of it Jehovah Nisi. For he said, Because the Lord has sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. As a banner is a sign signifying that a territory has been conquered by the one who owns the banner. So you ought to believe that God is your banner. For God will cause you to conquer new territories. He will cause you to conquer your fears, your sickness, or whatsoever challenge you may be going through. Hence the word of God says in Romans chapter 8 verse 37, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Number 15, Jehovah Rapha, meaning the Lord who heals me, he who heals you. Exodus chapter 15 verse 26 which says, and and said, if you will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord your God and will do that which is right in his sight and will give ear to his commandment and keep all his statute, I will put none of these diseases upon you which I have brought upon the Egyptian. For I am the Lord that heals you. Even through the most terrible sickness or disease, God will heal you only if you receive his word. Meaning, you, if you believe in his word, even as it is written in the book of Isaiah, when speaking about Jesus Christ, Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5, it says, But he was wounded for transgression, he was bruised for iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Number 16, Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts or the Lord of armies. First Samuel chapter 1 verse 3 and which says and this man went up out of his city yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh therefore know that and know and believe that God is the one who has ordered his army to number 17 Jehovah Shalom the Lord sends peace or the Lord is peace judge chapter 6 verse 23 to 24 and he says, And the Lord said unto him, Peace be unto you, fear not, for you shall not die. Then Gideon built an altar there unto the Lord, and called it Jehovah Shalom. Unto this day it is yet in Ophrah of the Abiezerat. So believe therefore that in your most troubled time, God will give you peace. Even as he said, uh, even as Jesus Christ reiterated in John chapter 14, verse 27, which says, Peace I live with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world give it, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Number 18, Jehovah Shammah, meaning the Lord is there. Ezekiel chapter 48, verse 35, which says, It was wrong about 18,000 measures, and the name of the city from that day shall be the Lord is there. Hence believe that God is in the midst of your situation. No matter how much your situation may try to tell you the contrary, thus fear not. And lastly, uh, number 19, Jehovah Tikenu, the Lord of righteousness. Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 6 which says, in this and in his days Judah shall be saved and Israel shall dwell safely and this is his name whereby he shall be called the Lord of righteousness. When all odds are against you, you ought to know and believe that God is the one who will justify you. Even as he spoke to the prophet Jeremiah, so the book 
of Romans says in Romans chapter 3 verse 22 even the righteousness of God which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe and the word of God adds in 1st John chapter 2 verse 1 he says my little children these things write I unto you that you sin not and if any man sins we have an advocate with the father Jesus Christ the righteous so understand therefore that you ought to receive the word of God by believing in it accepting it even as being the truth and by expressing it through action words and I teach you your behavior this bringing and as you do so you will be bringing the word of God or your situation to conform to that word of God that you believed in. therefore bringing the manifestation of the the, the, the the spiritual reality to manifest into the physical realm into the physical dimension and as you also call up you understand the meaning of the word of God understand that God has raised his word above his names so his word is still here it's still manifesting still above whatever people have encountered of him and have called him and as you are calling even those names you are actually invoking that same manifestation to come to be as well in your circumstances for God has no change he is the same yesterday for yesterday today and forever so he has raised his word above his name above his renown above what people have encountered of him has as have, have experienced with him and he's still doing the same so we want to pray first of all to thank God in the name of Jesus Christ for his word and then we want to pray as well to ask God in the name of Jesus Christ to remove every human being to move to remove every human being to receive the word of God by believing in it just accepting it in the heart as being true and by expressing by expressing it through the action word and behavior we want to pray as well in the name of Jesus Christ to ask God to cause every human being to understand and believe in the in the meaning beyond every name of God to bring about that particular meaning to come to manifestation in the given circumstances and finally we want to thank God for hearing our word for answering our prayers so Heavenly Father we bless you we honor you we glorify you we exalt you we elevate you we thank you for this day we thank you O God for your grace and your love for your word thank you for blessing us with your truth imparting us with your understanding knowledge insight from enlarging Almighty God our space of knowledge or territory of knowledge for giving us new territory to conquer territory or, 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 or to, or to allow us to have conquered new territory of ignorance by acquiring knowledge your knowledge your truth in the name of Jesus Christ we have conquered the territories of lies by the truth for your word is the truth father we come before you and asking for your grace oh God that you will cause every human being you will move every human being to receive your word in order to, to believe in it just accepting it as being oh God the truth and therefore by expressing that truth to cause the circumstance to cause the situation to conform to your word to conform to your truth bringing about the extraordinary oh God they are standing to manifest in the physical realm in the physical dimension in the name of Jesus Christ oh God we ask you as well May you cause every human being to understand and to believe in the meaning beyond every one of your name. As they call upon your name, that it comes, Almighty God, and manifest that meaning manifest in the situation, that meaning manifest in the circumstances. In the midst, Almighty God, of the sickness, as they call upon you, Jehovah, Jehovah Rapha, let them be healed let them be completely restored to oh god perfect soundness 
in the body, soul and spirit, in the mind. As, oh God, they are being troubled and when they call upon you, Jehovah Shalom, let them be, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Filled with your peace, completely. As, oh God, in the midst of their needs, when they call upon you, Jehovah Jireh, let them, oh God, let provision, your divine supply, be manifest in the life. As they call upon you, Giovanni, be the banner and give them new territories, new conquests. Make them even, oh God, the word that says we are more than conquerors, even to be manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, we bless you, we glorify you, we exalt you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, amen.